Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Now recently we've been filming with Jerry Moffitt and Cafe Craft looking at their new mental training book for climbing. It's called Mastermind. So today we sat down with creators Jerry and Hannes Hutch to find out a little bit more about the book. Hi, I'm Jerry Moffat. And I'm Hannes Hoch. And we're here today trying to promote our book, Mastermind. For me personally, I've always been in interested in the mental side of climbing uh, since 1989 when I was competing in, in climbing competitions. And, it's been a fascination of mine and something I've always been really into and I've always read books and and stuff on it. Uh, then I came here to look at Hannes' climbing wall about two years ago, uh, researching climbing walls for our climbing wall, the foundry back in Sheffield. It was so exciting for me because um, when I started climbing in 1986, 30 years ago, I had three idols, Wolfgang Gulick and Kurt Albert for sure, and on third place, sorry, only third place, was Jerry, and a, I'm certainly a hardcore fan of Jerry Moffin, and I was always begging our our friend Norbert Zandner to bring Nor, um, to bring Jerry around once, and um, yeah, then we sat down for an interview, and actually, I also would have written a cooking book with Jerry, but obviously, a book on mental training for climbers is, yeah, more people need it. The book's based on research which I've done from reading other books. And I worked with uh, Professor Lou Hardy at Bangor University, who's a world-renowned um, sports psychologist. Uh, and he's been doing sports psychology for 40 years. So m my idea was to use all that stuff and then get it backed up by climbers. And I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to actually put in the book what the top climbers in the world are thinking right now? And I'd read other books and people have researched from other talented people, but they don't actually put what they say in. So with this book, I thought, I'm going to put what I see in, and I'm actually going to put what those top climbers, what does Alex Migos think when he's about to do a higher red point? What does Adam Ondra think uh, when he's trying to do uh, a specific red point? Why does, why does Chris Sharma think he's more successful than anybody else? W what do they think? Uh, and then I asked them, you know, I went around and interviewed loads of different climbers and then I dotted that into the book where I thought it was applicable. When I'm in the moment, everything feels so much slower than it actually is. So when I watch the video afterwards, for me, for example, when I'm hesitating on a move or something, it feels like ages, you know, it feels like, oh, should I put my foot there or there? And like in my head, it starts like a conversation and it takes ages for me to solve that conversation with my head basically but when I look at the video you know you can just barely see that there is any hesitation you maybe climb through like a hard section you get to the rest before uh, before the crux and, and it's so easy for all those bad like vibes to go through your mind where you're thinking like oh hell like you know how do I feel am I feeling kind of pumped like you know is my skin hurt or is the move gonna feel easy this time or hard like so half the time I just try to turn my brain off almost. It was really funny when Margot was here, Margot Hayes, and um, actually I didn't know her before very well, but she came here for a coaching, and then I asked her to do an interview, and um, afterwards I was totally overwhelmed because I, I, I called Jerry and told him, ah, Margot is doing everything exactly the way you say it and how you, yeah, how you want it to be, yeah. and Jerry said, ah, come on, just a, another young girl climbing quite hard. It's might, it might be not so interesting, but four weeks later, I saw it. Yeah, I saw the I, in, I saw the interview, and as soon as I saw the interview, I was like, "Oh, it was incredible!" Yeah, it was literally like she'd read the book, and right, she was like, exactly. "I do this, I do this, I do this." Yeah. Learning to perform well under really intense pressure is not just something like, yeah, I know that, I've got that, I can do that now. Yeah. That's something you need to work on repeatedly. It's not something you just get. It's something you can work on like a finger strength. It's a training. Yeah. yeah. So I, I was a professional climber for 20 years. I came from a traditional background. Um, 
before bolts, before red point, before competitions. And I naturally was a, a very, very, very strong mentally, I feel, doing red points and bouldering. When it came to competitions and the first com competitions came along, it was a, a different environment for me. It was indoors, I'd never climbed on plastic before. And the first climbing competitions I went to, I was in really, really good shape. I mean, I, I was absolutely brilliant. Um, everything was perfect in my training. And uh, I had one specific competition in Munich and I completely choked. And it was then that I realized, you know, I, I can't lose any more weight. I can't get any more finger strength. I can't get any more endurance. I can't get any more power. I have all those things. If I can't put that into practice on a climb, the whole thing's a waste of time. And it was then that I realized I had to work on my mental game and, and, find, a, and find a plan. You can open every page in the book and it looks... Find something interesting. Yeah, and we it wanted looks, to have and it, it looks so cool, even yeah, if you don't yeah. understand the language. We wanted it's to have it like a, a guidebook. And in yeah. my old guidebooks, I used to write in, you know, ticked, led, did with this person on that day. And I'd write all over the guidebook. Yeah. And so at the, at the start of the book, you can write your name. Uh, the, there's different places you can write in. And we want people to underline things they like yeah. and, and circle things, put their name in and, and actually use it like a workbook. There is a third very important person in our team. It's not only Jerry, it's not only me, but also Marion Head, who's my wife. I'm really happy about it. And uh, she's a super talented graphic designer. And from the very first second on, she was involved in this project. And um, she had this idea that something about mental training, which is really very personal and even maybe so personal that you don't want other people's um, you don't want other people to know about what's going on inside your head. Should be also very personal in the layout and in the in the look and feel of the book. So so she came up with the idea of a kind of a moleskin diary thing, and there are always lessons inside or or goal planning. And so this book is really to be used like a combination of diary and topo guide book, yeah. where you do little notes and really to make this book your book. At the end of the book, we've got roughly 15 inspirational stories and my idea was that we do all the mental training stuff break it all down and then the last quarter of the book is just stories from the best climbers in the world telling their most precious best day the climbing that they've ever had so the idea is they do all the men you, you read the book you do all the mental training then you can always get really inspired at the end and if you're just about to do a climb you might not even want to read all the technical stuff. You just might go to your favorite inspirational story and that will give you a lift because you're reading about success. If you want to buy the book, for sure you can go to www.gimmicraft.com. There's a link below. You can buy it in the Epic TV shop. You can buy it at retailers. You can buy it in Jerry's gym. Yep. And um, in America, you can buy it at Training for Climbing by Eric Hurst. As a little teaser for the book, We've done a two-part series, which will be coming out in Epic TV soon. Cheers to that, guys. There's a link in the copy below if you want to buy the book. Now, next week, we're launching our two-part training series featuring Petra Klinger and Alex Magos, all about the Mastermind book, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.